What is going on, friends? Welcome back to the series. So between the last episode and this episode, I made some really good progress in uh, processing my uh, alchemy ingredients. So this is what they're looking like now. So as you can see, I unlocked a lot of good stuff here. So, you know, not everything is completely unlocked as, you know, still got a lot of game to play. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I made a lot of good progress here. So with alchemy, all that's left for me to really do is, you know, find those recipes that actually make me some money. So I'm going to go ahead and do this real quick before we get into the meat of this episode. I'm not going to take too long with this. So now I can actually make uh, damage potions that do 20 points of damage now. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'll make 10. All right, now um, let's find some money potions. So the way I'm going to go about it is I'm going to look at each one of these at first. Look for something that has a decent amount of ingredients. So that's only giving me 11. So I'll just go through these until I find something. Like, that's 23. That's not bad. But something that really jumps out at me, and then I'll um, go from there. All right, this one looks good. So this lot of ingredients, starting off at 22 value. And so the idea is uh, to find like a third a third uh, ingredient that'll bump up the value even more. So this is actually a debuff potion. So we're going to look at each trait and look for additional debuffs. So this is Drain Intelligence. Drain Intelligence, of course. So Damage, Magic, or Regen. So let's check that out. And we got 11 Hanging Moss. And that'll bump it up to 76. So that's actually pretty good. So I'm going to write this down real quick so I don't forget. So right now, that's actually the most valuable potion I've come across yet. But, you know, I, I know I'm just scratching the surface. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, just... So now I'm just going to crank them out. Let's see if this is actually something I'm going to use. Stamina is, is incre oh, stamina is increased by 24 points, decreased targets of magic. Oh, Larney Stone. So there was like an additional thing that got tacked on. So this is this would be considered impure. This is not viable. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Oops, and actually it made one. Okay, so we'll start over. Alright, so this gives me 59, so that's something. Increases speech skills by 14 and conjuration spells, so this would actually sell. And since I don't have any other better viable ingredients, I'm going to go ahead and pump these out. Let me take note of this. So I can make a, I can make 10, so let's make 10. Alright, so let's keep looking. Fortify sneak, fortify speech. 61, increases health, resistance. Restores 16 points of health per 1%. Yeah. That's pretty good, so let's take note of this. But haven't found anything that really knocks my socks off yet. Okay, let's go ahead and pump these out. I can make 18. Yeah, that's not bad. All right, let's do that too. Oh, let's pump these out. I actually looked up online to see if I can find like a, a list of recipes that people are using to profit off of um, complete alchemy and cooking overhaul. And um, I came up with nothing. It's like people aren't talking about it. I just keep finding like these old videos expounding on the virtues and benefits of uh, giant's toe and salmon eggs. Okay, let's knock these out. Yeah, and once again, this is okay. So let me go ahead and note this down. So that's four recipes of very, very minimal, profitable sort of potions. But it, it, at least it's a start. I love the sound of rain. All right, let's pump these out and then... Let's get out of here. Alright, 10 19 a.m. Let's make sure I have food in my inventory before we leave. I do. So, just gonna top off my uh, appetite and my drink, and we'll be out. Lydia, how are you doing, Lydia? Okay, and also, you see how there's vegetables and what's not and whatnot? That's from um, whatever you put in the raw foods will populate uh, your pantry. Alright, let's go. So, the things I wanna accomplish in this video is I want to get to get my illusion to level 30 so I can unlock uh, Night Eye and um, let's make some uh, headway into the Thieves Guild. Sounds like fun to me. So for a while we're going to be spending a lot of time rifting so I'm also going to collect a lot of the quests there uh, and complete as many of those as I can and um, sift through the various residences there for uh, trophies. I call them trophies and I guess I kind of think of them that way but I guess really I should, I should be calling them artifacts. <laughs> right, let's go. I should have dumped off my um, ingredients at the museum, but oh well. Actually, I'm going to be passing by the inn anyway. I could just dump the um, ingredients into the, the crates, the shipment crates to the museum. 
Assuming there is one in solitude, I mean, maybe? But I wouldn't be surprised if there aren't any crates since, uh, you know, solitude is where the museum actually is located. Woo! That almost got me. <laughs> Alright, so are there shipment crates here? Nah, I don't blame it. But, you know, we're going to get the rift in and we'll come across the shipment, crate, the shipment crates there. Let's see if I can pass that uh, persuasion check at the gate this time. Otherwise, I'm going to have to pay some gold. Damn dirty, dirty guards. Right, and when we get uh, far enough away from the city, they, the girls should switch back into their standard gear. Okay. There you are. Let's go. Need something? Yep, I'd like to hire a carriage. Go? We are going to go to the rift. Going straight through, or did you want to stop somewhere along the way? You have a very shiny head. Climbing back, and we'll be off. It's very beautiful. If you've never been to Rift, be sure to visit the Black Fire. All right, so here is it just the... me, or does it sound a little inappropriate when the guards tell people to stop lollygagging? No, yeah, it does sound a little weird. All right, so I'm just gonna dump my ingredients because this is stuff. This is heavy stuff here. Oh yeah, so much better. All right, let's see if I can pass this speech check. Have you decided to pay the visitors' tax? This is obviously a shakedown. All right, keep your voice yes. down. You want everyone to hear you? I'll let you in. Just let me unlock the gate. Yeah, you will. Unlock that gate. I like how that shield looks. Damn. The gate's unlocked. You can head inside when you're ready. Uh -huh. Heard there were wolves on the road up north. Fine! If you won't listen to me, I'll find someone who will. I had another run in with That's a That's the guy that starts Falskar. Be careful, Mio. The Thieves Guild has Maven Blackbriar at its back. One snap of her fingers, and you could end up in Riften jail. Or worse. They represent the reason I'm here. I can't just ignore them, Eren. I know. I just don't want you to leave. You're the only good thing that's happened to this city in a long time. Mjol looking fierce as ever. I don't know you. You and Riften looking for trouble. Hey, what's it to you, man? I'm not scared of you. That's the wrong answer. <laughs> is it? Last thing the Blackbriars need around here is some troublemaker trying to steal a piece of the action. Who are the Blackbriars? The Blackbriars have rifted in their pocket and the Thieves Guild watching their back. So keep your nose out of their business. Me? I'm Maul. I watch the streets for them. If you need dirt on anything, I'm your guy. But it'll cost you. Okay. Dirt, huh? Well, I'm not exactly clean myself. Then we're speaking the same language. Yeah, yeah. Good. So what do you want to know? Uh, okay, so I found that gem. I didn't mention it. I just picked it up, and for whatever reason, I didn't mention it. But there's this gem. The gems of Baron Zaya. You collect them to to build a crown, a bre uh, the crown of Baron Zaya. But yeah, it's a breadcrumb that leads to him, and he like furthers you along. Tell me about this. Uh, what this gem's worth? Do I look like a merchant to you? You're gonna have to take that up with Vex in the Thieves Guild. Get in good with them, and you'll find her. Okay, I will definitely do that. Started no stone unturned. All right. Tell me more about the thief. Well, know anything about the Thieves Guild? You kidding? My brother Dirge works in their hideout. I used to run with them myself, but took a job with Maven after they started hitting a rough patch. If you want to get in on that action, find Brynjolf in the marketplace. I'm sure he could use someone like you. All right, I think I will. Tell me more about the Blackbriars. Who are these people? This is going to give us a little bit of context context as to what Riften's all about. Well, you got Maven. She pretty much runs the whole operation. She's got friends in high places, if you know what I mean. She's also got ties to the Dark Brotherhood and the Thieves Guild. So basically, no one can touch her. Just remember, if she tells you to do something, you damn well better do exactly what she says. All right. Well, thanks for the info. Be seeing you around. Later, Maul. Huh, what do we have here? I'm really getting tired of your excuses. When you borrowed the money, you said you'd pay it back on time and for double the usual fee. I know I did. But how was I to know the shipment would get robbed? Next time, keep your plans quieter, and nothing would have happened to it. What? Are you telling me you robbed it? Why? 
Why are you doing this to me? Look, Shadra, last warning. Pay up or Vegetables else. All I care about is the gold. Morning. Everything else is your problem. Make love like a saber cat, or crush your enemies to dust like a giant. Gee, buddy, what was that all about? What do you want? What kind of trouble are you in, man? I owe a great deal of money to someone, and I think they cheated me. I don't know what to do. It would have been nice if Bethesda found a few more uh, black voices for characters like Shader. Shatter. Whatever. Oh, tell me the details. I was able to work out a deal with the stables in Whiterun to sell me some of their tack and harnesses. I borrowed some gold from Sapphire to pay for the shipment, but it got robbed before it even arrived. Now Sapphire wants her money back, and if I don't pay her, I think she's going to kill me. Ah, <laughs> uh, you simpleton. Well, you know what? I'm a nice guy. I hope you pay off your debt. And you know what? I won't even ask for anything in return. You will? Oh, thank you. So what do you do? You work at the stables? You smell like horse. Yes. Hofgreer took me in when I arrived in Riften about a year ago. He's been teaching me everything he knows. Horses are my whole life. Back in Hammerfell, I helped my family raise horses at our farm. I hope to open my own stables one day. But I think it's going to take a lot longer than I expected. All right. See you around. Be careful with Sapphire. She mixes with all sorts of nasty people. Oh, well, I got I got some backup. All right, so let's see if uh let's see if uh, if Bryn Bryn will talk to us. Clean and free. From yes. What did you need? Hmm. Never mind. I don't need anything. Only 20 gold septums. Hurry before my supply is gone. All right, so I guess I'm, I haven't met the requirements yet. Fresh meat All right, so I'm going to make sure. I, I guess that's what this episode is going to be about. Be able to get, being able to start the Thieves Guild quest. Only so I need to get my sneak up to 25. I need a, po a pickpocket. Pockets pick 25. And I need to steal 250 items. So I'm. this might be where I'm short. But you know what? That's a good reason for me to pilfer all of these residences tonight. So, um, for now, let's talk to the various uh, residences and see if we can do any quests for them. Let's start with Maris, Marais, Aravel. My food is the best in all of Skyrim. Always as fresh as the day it was collected. Well, how do you keep these, this food so fresh? You just have a cart. I picked up a trick from a butcher in Elenir, a small town over the border in Hammerfell. He showed me a way to grind up ice wraith teeth and use it as a preservative. Keeps everything cold and fresh, but only for a limited time. I'm always looking to replenish my supply, so if you ever come across five of them, I'd be more than happy to take them off your hands. Cool, I'll keep an eye out for them. Thanks, I was actually worried I'd run out. Well, I can't make any promises. <laughs> uh, any idea where I can find some ice wraiths? Well, I'd be careful if I were you. I hear the Nords hunt them for some kind of initiation rite, and not all of them end up victorious. The last traveler that traded me some said he found them at a place called Ancient's Ascent. <laughs> careful, though. Rumor has it a dragon makes its home there. Oof. Okay, so I got this location, so I could choose to go there if I have trouble finding them. I don't care what she's selling. Be careful looking for those teeth. Those little bastards are dangerous. All right, so who else are we going to talk to? Let's go ahead and give this guy some money. Sure, sure. I'm a dirty beggar. Why would you want to even speak to me? <clears throat> but I am speaking to you. Here, have some, ca have some cash. Oh, thank you. Divines, Genuine bless your kind heart. Live for thousands of years. See into cool. Always good talking to you, friend. Give to charity. Alright, I'm not gonna talk to him because I'm not trying to start false scrape this shit. Won't take the time. Can I interest you in some fine goods from Morrowind? It's rare that I could actually talk to this guy. Because normally, well, you'll see. You'll see. Ah, you have an unnamed for a dark elf. Branchai. I may be dark elf by birth, but I was raised Argonian. For reasons I'm still trying to discover, I ended up orphaned, then taken in by a kindly Argonian family in Black Marsh. I hope one day to find out what happened to me, how I ended up like that. Do you have any clues about your past? 
just one. I know when I was found by my Argonian father, I was wrapped in a blanket bearing the symbol of House Telvani. Hmm. It was one of the great houses in Morrowind long ago. I'm familiar with it. Whether that means I was one of them or not, I'm uncertain. You never know. If you come across anything in your travels that might provide me with the answers I'm looking for, Learn I'd be grateful. Well, I'll keep an eye out. Thank you. Don't care what he's selling. Anything you can find would be of great help. Good luck. Hmm, that mark means that uh, there's some decent pickings here. Huh? Let's, let's yeah. get a better look at him. Have anything you wish to sell? I pay fair prices for all sorts of goods. Yeah, he looks good. I wonder if he's one of Pandables. Fine, would be of Pandables. Good luck. <coughs> Music plays. Hey, let's Music talk to Medesi. Greetings, do? honored friend. Could I interest you in some fine jewelry? Oh. Do you make your own jewelry? I do. Sadly, I'm one of the few traditional Saxlil jewelers that remains in Tamriel. It's becoming a lost art. Only trouble is gathering materials has become hazardous. The roads to the mines and to the other cities are thick with bandits, and worse. Would you be interested in gathering some materials for me? I'd certainly be happy to compensate you. He said Zax heel. I think that's how the Argonians refer to themselves. They don't call themselves Argonians. Kind of like how Germany, uh, they refer to their own country as Deutschland. All right, sure, I'll get them for you. Thank you, Landstrider. I'm seeking a small list of items to complete my next creation. Two flawless sapphires, a mammoth tusk, and a chunk of gold ore. Sure, I'll do that. Zax heal. Forgive me. It's a term I haven't used in some time. While most in Tamriel call my kind Argonian, yep, here it is. I prefer the term Saxlil. Ma Desi was actually my original Saxlil name. Unlike others, I decided to embrace tradition and keep it that way. As you should. That's a good name. How's business? Not well, I'm afraid. That Brynjolf, he keeps draining the people's pockets with his ridiculous <laughs> miracle cures. A few months ago, it was Troll Fat Sav, and now he's got something new. Not that there's anything that can be done about it. He's in good with the Thieves' Guild. It's kind of like in the Old West where you had those uh, medicine shows, those traveling uh, cure-all peddlers. Safe travels, Landstrider. Take it easy, Medesi. Let's talk Build to this guy. Balamond, how are you? Come to see Balamond perform miracles with steel, eh? Hmm. You seem quite proud of your work. Smithing's been in my blood for generations. I owe my success to my forefathers and their recipe for flame. The secret is my forge. It consumes fire salts, a strange mineral that burns as hot as red mountain lava. That is impressive. Should you be uh, telling me your secrets like that? Shouldn't that be like a secret of the trade kind of thing? Oh, that's very impressive, Balamond. Well, it was. Sadly, this forge is dying, and I've used the last of my fire salts. If I can't feed it soon, it may grow cold. Well, you know what? I'll get you some. You will? Thank you. Ten pinches of fire salt should give me all I need to bring this forge back to life. Cool. And where can I find fire salts? A flame Atronach's body might provide fire salt. They're dangerous creatures that can be summoned by wizards. Of course, it would be much easier to check with an alchemist. They occasionally have them for sale. But you could easily do that for yourself, man. Remember, nothing but genuine fire salts will do. The forge knows the difference. <laughs> Sophia, keeping herself busy. Oh, it's getting dark. Okay. So since it's getting late, let's go ahead and get a room. Sleep for a couple hours and uh. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. My work. I think I go about sneaking. The return of the dragons is not mere coincidence. I could talk to Talon J though. This is one of the signs. The signs that Lady Mara is displeased with your constant inebriation. Welcome to the B and Barb, my lord. If I can interest you in one of our special drinks, you let me know. Hmm. How did you meet Kirava, the the barmaid over there? I met her when I wandered into Riften a few years ago. Been smitten with her ever since. In fact, I'm thinking of asking her to marry me. In Blackmarsh, tradition dictates we present a potential mate a unique wedding ring to represent our future <clears throat> bond. I already have the gold band, 
but all I need are three flawless amethysts to complete the setting. Man, I really like how he looks. I wonder which uh, Overhoff is doing this. He looks great. You know what, Talon Jai? I can help find those for you. I was hoping you'd offer. I didn't think it was my place to ask such a favor of you. I thank you. Tell me about the Thieves' Guild. I'm just curious. They're vermin. Garbage. They're exactly what makes this city such a horrible place to live. <laughs> Is that right? How appropriate they should live in the Ratway with the rest of the trash. The Ratway, you say? Can you tell me about the wedding ring? Every Argonian wedding proposal band is supposed to have three flawless amethysts as part of their design. Mm. Two of the gems, the ones on the outside, represent the couple to be married. One for the husband, one for the wife. The amethyst in the center represents the hist, the entity that all Argonians consider a sacred part of our lives. It's very interesting. Learn a little bit about the Argonian culture. All right, Talon J, I'll see you around. If you'll excuse me, I have other things to attend to. So we have Mercutio here. Is unmatched. Fortunately for you, he's a potential follower. That skill can be bought. Talon, Kirava, certainly we. Is there anyone else here I want to talk to? These people must be made aware of the chaos they've Two people actually. Enough. We're gonna start with Sapphire. Oh yeah. What's your problem? How you doing? There's no need to use them as. I want to talk to you about Shader's death. I knew that Very stupid well, kid would try and find a way to I'll weasel out of his debt. This of Look, iniquity. this is really simple. We're not kicking I lent him some gold, he Just promised to pay me back, and now he says he's broke. End of story. <laughs> I see, you and I both know this is a setup. I don't care. A deal's a deal. Is that right? We'll drop the dead or answer to me. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I've got the you entire Thieves Guild at my back. What have you got? I've got patience, and I'll be back. You can go back and forth all you want. He just needs to pay. <laughs> all right, that's like the Louise. I need someone to deliver a message to Sibby Blackbriar. What sort of message? Ah, well, I recently approached Sibby Blackbriar about buying Frost, one of the finest breeding horses in Skyrim. He agreed to sell. I paid Sibby half the cost of Frost up front, but before he could deliver, Maven had him locked up. Sibby believes this exempts him from our deal. It does not. I want you to talk to Sibby for me. Then I want you to bring me Frost and the lineage papers that prove the horse's worth. That sounds interesting. Why is Sibby in jail? No idea. But whatever he did, it must have angered Maven. No guard would lock up a Blackbriar without the old lady's permission. I see. Well, why don't you go tell Sibby yourself? I mean... It's not a fort walk, is it? I'm not exactly comfortable around guards or jails. Definitely not when times. associates of mine have been locked up. No, I'll meet you outside of town. Okay. Well, sounds easy enough. I'll, I'll see what I can do. Good man. You won't regret it. Head to the Riften Jail and talk to Sibby. Get him to tell you where Frost and his lineage papers are and bring them to me outside Riften. You'll be well paid for your time. All right. I'll meet you outside of town. Believe, believe the dragonborn comes. <laughs> I thought Lydia was singing. It's, an end to it's one of the wenches. Of all Shade. Foes. Beware, beware all right, let's go and get a room. Dragonborn comes. What's this? Notice of For cost increase. Kirava, as of this month, I'm afraid we're going to have to... Double the cost of Blackbriar Mead. As you're no doubt well aware, there's quite a bit of civil unrest occurring within Skyrim. With this unrest comes increased cost to us for shipment protection, ingredients, and labor. I think you'll find your customers more than willing to share in this burden by absorbing the cost through a price increase. I recommend you institute immediately. Failure to comply with our new cost will result in an immediate interruption of Blackbriar Mead. I don't know what accent I was doing there. I'm just goofing around. Wow, you look amazing! You look like a T-Rex with horns. Meaning, I think you're hot. You're so beautiful. If you've got the coin, you're welcome here. Otherwise, hit the road. But you have the personality of a cockroach. Might as well take a bath. Thank you. Here, this is for you. And I like to rent a room. You'll probably notice that um, I didn't adjust the prices for a realistic room rental. I just don't find it that immersive or even noticeable. <laughs> sure thing. It's yours for a day. About my room. Yes. 
I know where the room is. Thank you. I understand. All right, so it is 8.43 at the moment. I think I'm going to sleep until midnight. What do you need, handsome? Whew. Whew. That's not the way. Yeah. There's bring you off. What's your problem? I don't remember this door being here. I don't remember this being open. Oh, JK is being a barb. <laughs> uh, is the room in the same spot? Yeah, it is. All right. Uh, we're going to sleep four hours. All right, cool. All right, girls. There's no reason for you to follow me around. So you guys hang out, have a drink, sing a song or two, and I'll be back. How can I help you? Let's start on this side, shall we? I think I'm good on arrows, right? Yeah, I'm solid. All right, let's start with the pawn front. Attempt lock. Okay. So I didn't see a spot for my usual usual points. So let's go in between my usual points. There we go, right there. Ooh, perfect. Ah, uh, I forgot to cast Muffle. Okay, let's see if I can get away with this. Okay, I seem to be good. Alright. Let's get to the stealings. I wonder if it counts if I uh, steal it through Quick Loot, or do I have to open the cupboard? But anyways, everything here. I can just play the museum. <laughs> let's just take it. So I need to steal 250 something items, man. And I've been keeping a running tally, so I don't know how many I need. Speech increased to 30. So just steal everything. I believe I could put that in the closet. Blacksmithing. I'm not gonna still close though. I have no use for that. Buckets! I could display them. And all this. I could steal the broom. What's this? Leather armor. Eh, I can display it. Screw it. Don't want that. All right. Okay, that. That can go into the Natural Science Museum. I'll take the leather strips. Iron sword we already have, already have displayed. Don't want air, iron arrows. An apology from who? Fairsty, I got your last request, but there's no way I'm going near Shroud Hearth Barrow. I know that the trinkets from the Nordic boroughs sells quite well, but it isn't worth getting killed. You probably think I'm crazy, but I'm certain that the place is haunted and I refuse to become another victim. Whatever lives there, sorry, old friend. Wilhelm. Don't know Wilhelm. Alright. Alright. Steel War Axe. You know what? I, I think I'll use that for myself. Steel Dagger. Bow Meal. And Alchemy Ingredients. And it's a pumpkin. All right. Oh, ingots are good. Potions are good. And opportunity. Percy, I heard you already sold on the ebony armor I got you, and, I, and at quite a profit, too. The crazy Khajiit doesn't have much left, but the rent on that cell of his is almost due again. I reckon he, he could be persuaded to part with those lovely weapons of his. Got to buy around, and we'll talk. I want my fair share this time. Norton. I do believe that he's talking about Indigo. We'll stop by and say hi. I like Indigo, but... Sorry, guys. I don't use Indigo. Please don't be mad. Because I know you guys love Indigo. Cowhide. <gasps> Cave bear pelt. Maybe I can now... Build those display in the natural, uh, natural Science Museum. Get some more pots. Get all this junk here. Alright. Let's not go too crazy here. Alright. Ooh, books. Books are good. Cabin in the woods. Oh, more books. 
I want to read them and then loot them. I know there's a way to read it without actually taking it right away. Can I just click it? Nope. <clears throat> What's my carry weight at? I'm at 400 already. Okay. Let's stick with stuff that's more worthwhile. Hey, a golden ship model. Yes. Something for the museum. Ooh, and a safe. Adept. So let's try 12 o'clock. 10 o'clock. 2 o'clock. Nope. Well, let's try 9 o'clock, then 3 o'clock. 9. 3. All right, so now let's go between. See? You just got to be systematic about it, and you'll figure it out. Silver dagger momentum. Horse poised by 15%. I won't use it, but I'll take it. To a concerned citizen. I just won't. Oh, I took all the love. Okay, whatever. All right. More books. My learning speed is up to 6.2%. Yeah, this feels way more balanced. Having that mod set that way. Skyrim tweaks or something like that? I forgot what it's called again. What is the scroll up here? Oh, a painting. That will go in the museum. My pickpocketing is nowhere near ready for me to uh, attempt anything. Alright, I got some books. I just want to read them, or have them marked as read, get the experience from them. This is a call to arms for uh, merchants and stuff. Fight against the corruption, that kind of thing. I only had one book I didn't read. Must have gotten some duplicates, yeah. Okay, my muffle is almost out, so let's gain some distance and recast that. I already checked this right. Yeah, I did. Alright, let's go downstairs see what's down here. Oh, I'm so glad Sneak is now workable. Good. All good stuff. Stuff I'll eventually use. Oof. Look at all this good stuff. Holy crap. Still have it. I don't want to deal with that weight. Wow. All these freaking pelts. Jeez, I'm going to have to uh, make shipment runs between uh, every place I rob. Alright, I think I'm done with this place. Alright. So let's dump a lot of weight into the shipment crates and uh, move on to the next target. Oh, so that's where those ingredients came from, was this satchel. Okay. Okay, so the crates are over here. Cool. Alright, so let's get rid of the heavy weapon. Oh, I still got this stupid rusty stuff. I need to sell it or get rid of it. Jeez. I'm only holding on to these torches is because I want to give um, one to both Lydia and Sophia after I get them their backpack so it'll, you know, display <laughs> on their back. Alright, good enough for now. Alright, let's move on to the next target. And let's move in this direction. Alright, so we can't go through there for obvious reasons. Alright. Let's check out the bunkhouse. We don't necessarily have to sneak, but there will be things we could uh, take. There you are. I've been looking everywhere Lily! for you. I've got this thing I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Is it a key? Uh, let's see. Looks like that's all. I have to leave. It's always good to see you, Lily. Thanks. Letter from Oren. Good day, my friend. I hope this message finds you well. I wanted to report to you the current success of the museum and to offer you an additional incentive since you have proven yourself quite capable indeed. We have started to receive visitors to the museum and they are quite taken with the displays. I've set up a do donation box near the museum entrance and I will leave your share of the contributions made by the patrons who visited inside it. Feel free to help yourself for the pr to the proceeds anytime you stop by. Additionally, I wanted to offer you the use of the museum safe house. It's been locked up and in use for some time, but I went in and made sure it was in good order and you will find it's fully equipped with all the am amenities you could ever want. This key will give you access. Be well and keep up the good work. Orion Morales. Yeah, I wonder if you noticed that I kind of already made myself at home. All right, cool. So, 
we have officially completely unlocked the museum now. Sweet Helga, last night was the most wonderful night of my life. The things you showed me, the things we did. I could never have dreamt that it was possible. Who even knew that someone could manipulate their body in that manner while wearing Daedric armor boots? You are a true master of the De Debellian arts, my love. A credit to your religion. Perhaps we'll meet again soon, but next time, allow me to bring the trout, your secret lover. Ooh, spicy. Hmm? What? Oh, you read the letter too, huh? <laughs> I thought it was pretty hot. Uh, these guys are watching me. It's not worth stealing these peanuts. Let's go into Helga's room. So, since this is technically considered like a public space, we don't have to be too quiet. The leather strips, take the honey, all these ingredients. The lusty Argon Argonian maid. I'll take it. Cool. What's this? Former blood elixir. Heals the cast for one point. Jeez. Hmm. Money. I want it. Okay. Oh, and we should actually tag that. What else do we have here? Oh, a horker tusk. Oh my. And leather strips. I'm gonna have to steal your favorite um uh, toy Helga. I could actually use this for my museum. I just need some horker meat. Ooh, a strong box. Let's do it. Wiggle wiggle. Ten o'clock? Nope. Two o'clock? Last two uh apprentice locks was was right here. And it's hmm, the time's a charm too. Cool. And what do we have here? 112 septums. That'll work for me. Do I already have a broom? I do now. Very nice, very classy, very tasteful. Right, let's see if there's anything in the basement. That's not the basement, but we're gonna go in here anyway. That's the basement, okay. Oof. Anytime I come across like these chunks of like ingredients, I'm gonna take a 25 lavender at once. That is great. Raw beef, salt pot. I think I need beef for uh, the display. I'm not gonna take more though. And salt, always good. Okay, am I seeing anything else worth it down? I'm gonna take this cheese. I should sneak just in case. Not to eat per se, but I'm pretty sure there's a place in the kitchen for him. Yeah, Legacy of Dragonborn was made for me, man. I love collecting garbage. Okay. Now let's go upstairs. Peruse what's up there and uh, go about our day. This one needs something. This one needs nothing. The Wisp Mother, the Epic Grey Falcon. Well, wow, three books. Let's go ahead and take those. Okay. Groka will be using her services, uh, her training for light, uh, light armor at some point. Certain skills I prefer not to try to actually work up because, man, it is so tedious. Like all the heavy armor and light armor stuff. Going out, just getting whacked on. And especially as like a thief stealth build, you never get hit. Bigger pickpocket. Good. Ha ha ha. Good. And eventually I'm going to put points in the pickpocket. Just some neat abilities there. Alright, now let's go to the basement. Oh, we already went into the basement. We are done, folks. I wish I could, like, see what my... Wait a minute. There is a way to tell. Alright, item stolen. 710! That bugger should be talking to me by now. Let's 
see. Now that my speech is level 20, maybe um, Sapphire will actually let buckle. Me know if you need anything, or take a seat Let's by try the again. Fire and yeah. send What's your problem? My problem? <laughs> oh, no. Oh. I knew that stupid kid would try and find a way. Look, this is really sick. Yada, yada. You I might... lent him some gold. He promised to pay me back. And... All right, all right. All right, it worked. I guess I made enough from his shipment. No need to waste any more time threatening a stable hand. Tell Shadra he doesn't owe me anything. How do you extort a stable hand? They make That'll like what? That'll teach me to try and make extra coin around this city. A gold a day? Like, what were you getting out of Shader, Shatter, or whatever? All right, that's what, yes, there you lot. are. Did you need something? Yes. Yes, lot. Did you need something? Yes, lot. Did you need something? So I'm missing some other requirement now. Yes, lot. Did you need something? Let's take a look at this again. So the Steve's Guild requirement, then there's this other mod, so and so's name, name of mod authors, harder something. So main quest, requirements to begin recruitment quest, sneak skill, 25. I got that. Definitely picked more than 25 pockets. Item stolen, 250. So just to cover my tracks, I wait a minute, I can actually look here. It'll tell me how many pockets I picked in it. Oh, there you go. I need three more. I picked so many guards pockets that I thought for sure I had it. All right, cool. So let's go pick some pockets and uh, sleep in the rest of the night away. And then see about joining the Thieves Guild. And I just so happen to know where all the guards are. Mr. Veil Keep. They should all be indoors by now. Moths! Bugs! Dragon's tongue. Oh boy, I think I heard a dragon. Alright. I should also keep a stock of woodcutter's axes. For the same reason why I'm keeping torches. Alright, so we got some sleeping dudes. Alright. Uh, do I have anything marked as stolen? Did I steal anything valuable enough for that? Yeah. For some reason, this Nord Mead was considered uh, extremely pricey, I guess. Some steel bolts? Okay, I don't care about that. I got a bunch of potions and stuff to sell. I need to do that in the morning. Okay. So, a bunch of stuff I don't care about. Alright. What do we got here? Amulet of Talos. Here's Dairos. Oh. So, that should be 23. 24. 25. And eventually I'm going to need a set of guards' uh, armor. And one to grow on. All right, now let's see if uh, Barking Brynjolf will talk to me. I'm tempted to find a double jump mod. So after Lily makes her delivery, she actually likes to uh, hang around. What can I do for you? So you could actually talk to her and everything. She's not locked out or anything. And uh, I don't know if it's this mod that does it or if it's... Um, uh, the carrier's, I forget what it's called, the mod by Arthmore that gives her a house. But you could have it to where um, she I'll delivers all your mail to your house instead of like running after you each time. But I don't do that because I'm afraid of messing any messing with the, the delivery scripts. Because you could break quests if you mess up that script. Thing. Think I got a clean mug around there he somewhere. is. Never done an honest day's work in your life for all that coin you're carrying, hey lad? Well, I don't know, I sold some potions. I'm sorry, what? I'm saying you've got the coin, but you didn't earn a septum of it honestly. I can tell. And how could you possibly know that, Brynjolf? It's all about sizing up your mark, lad. The way they walk, what they're wearing. It's a dead giveaway. I don't know, I think I kind of look like a bandit. <laughs> what do you mean? Look how you sniffed out my little scheme at the North Gate. You knew it was a shakedown and you called him on it. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, you seem to be well acquainted with wealth. 
Wealth is my business. Help me out, and I can add to yours. Would you like a taste? Yeah, what do you have in mind? I've got a bit of an errand to perform, but I need an extra pair of hands. And in my line of work, extra hands are well paid. Okay, this is starting to sound a little dubious. We are talking about the Thieves Guild, right? Not like a massage parlor or anything. Uh, what do I have to do? Simple. I'm going to cause a distraction. You're going to steal Medesi's silver ring from a strongbox under a stand. Once you have it, I want you to place it in Branche's pocket without him noticing. Well, sure. I'll do it, but why plant a ring on Branche? There's someone that wants to see him put out of business permanently. That's all you need to know. I'll be out in the market all day, from 8 in the morning until 8 in the evening. Meet me then, if you've still got the stomach for it. But he sells merchandise from Morrowind. He has no competition, no one else is selling that. So, uh, is it someone that doesn't like Dark Hills? Why, why are we doing this to Branche? It just doesn't make sense, man. We've been contracted to make sure Branche remembers not to meddle in affairs that aren't his own. Now, since we're not the Dark Brotherhood, we're not going to kill him. We're just going to make sure he sits in the prisons for a few days. Okay. Well, not part of the Dark Brotherhood yet. All right, how am I supposed to do all this, man? Do you want me to hold your hand as well? Well, that would be nice. You're going to have to sneak over to Medesi's stall and use your lockpick on the strongbox. Then, when you have the ring, you pickpocket Branche and leave it behind. Sounds simple enough, brother. I'll be at the market come morning. You better be there too. All right, sleep well, buddy. All right, girls, let's uh, let's call it a night. Look, I already said Shadra doesn't owe me a thing, so get off my back. I'm just walking by. Nervous about something? All right. Yeah, this is where I sleep. All right, it is four in the morning. Let's sleep uh four hours. Alright, cool. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let me know if you have anything you need from me. Yeah, I forgot to take a bath last night. Is there anything else you need? Alright, ladies, let's let's go. <laughs> I'm not even using the widgets for uh keeping it clean. I kinda use my followers as a, as my gauge. Alright, so Look, I already said Shadra doesn't owe me a thing, so get off my back. Lady, I'm just walking by. Um, so now let's find a bathroom. Since this is JK's, I'm assuming there's gonna be a room made for it. Unless I need to get an update <laughs> that I don't know about. Oh, there's a, 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 a second basement floor that opens up to Ripton. I wonder where that goes. Okay, I am not going to uh, look for too long. Oh, it's got to be here. How did I miss that? Jeez. Yeah, this is it. All right, so if Lydia follows me in... I'm kind of worried that um, she might be like completely naked because I don't remember if I actually fixed that problem that I had with Olga. I gotta eat something. All right. <clears throat> okay. What am I stealing from? Okay. Where's the soap? Isn't that the soap? Yeah. I always get superior amount of flour. Health, magic, and stamina regeneration. That's good. And I always steal the... Pl not plain, but buy the... Um, not not steal, but buy the uh, plain soap. Neutral scent slightly raises your sneak ability. Okay. This water doesn't look very warm. Okay. All right. So this bat doesn't have the auto um, strip function. Sure, Lydia, uh, sure, Sophia, you can wash my back if you want. I don't think I need any more uh, plain soap. I got nine on me. Cool. Feel better, Lydia? You look a lot better. Let's go, girls. I want to know where that door goes. Watch what you're doing. Where does this go? Oh, okay. That's interesting. 
And over here is where where the homeless people spend the night. Yeah, it's right that way. Legendary Argonian craftsmen. Okay. Nice and early. Let's go ahead and sell these potions before I forget. And then talk to uh Brinov. Welcome to the Pond Prong. Come on in, take a look around. Sure. And if you have silver arrows, I'm gonna buy them. Welcome to the Pond Prong. What can I do for you? The Pond Prawn, interesting. Your shop has an unusual name. Catchy, isn't it? I suppose. In my youth, I was a fisherman. I had a beautiful ship named the Brawny Prawn. But the years have a way of creeping up on you. I ended up selling that ship to open this place. Seemed only fitting to name it after her. Well, changed it a bit, I suppose. If I had been smarter, I would have kept my boat. Coming to this city was a big mistake. Hmm. What's wrong with Ripton? <laughs> the question is, what isn't wrong with Look at Ripton? that squint. <laughs> this city's corrupt. Rotten to the core. No one cares about anything except themselves. And how much coin they can make off the misery of others. Mm. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna tell him to go rat. Not with someone like uh, Maven Blackbriar's like running things. He'd end up getting a dagger to his throat. Uh, I don't care. Let's look at this. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. First six first. Oh, backpacks. Yeah, I'm gonna buy one for one of the girls. He only has one. All right, cool. And she's gonna need a tent. And still arrows. He doesn't have silver. Okay, let's go and sell my potions. Ah, uh, these heralds. I don't need these. All right, we're good. Four thousand gold. Slowly but surely, okay. building up their gold reserves. Let's go ahead and eat before I forget. All right, go. Cool. All right, let's just get, let's get the show on the road. I'm excited. <laughs> Deep scope time, baby. Any luck with Sapphire? Okay, lot. Ready to make some coin? Oh, I need to talk to Shader, Shatter, whatever. I'm ready. Let's get started. Good. Wait until I start the distraction, then show me what you're made of. Everyone, everyone, well, that. Let's like the gather up. Sapphire. <laughs> I have something amazing yeah, you're no longer in debt with Sapphire, man. Eight. Gather you actually all. talked her into it? Yeah, I did. I don't know what to say. I didn't think no, anyone in Riften no even shopping. cared what happened to me. Room. Look, I was Next saving this, but I wanted you to have it. I thought I might need it if Sapphire came for me, but I don't need it anymore. Sure thing, man, and, um... Potion mm -hmm. of Invisibility? That's good stuff. Old man, this what are you doing here? Over here? Fresh meats and produce. Get them before this they're way, gone. This way, everyone. Over here. Who's it? That stupid old man. Hey, Maven. How's it going? You need to hear this. You girls need to act incons inconspicuous. Go on. This way, everyone. All right, someone Over is seeing here. it. There we go. Ah, son of a bitch. This way, everyone. Over here. All me. There. All right, we're looking at an apprentice lock. There we go, 10 o'clock. Almost there. Boom. Guaranteed clean and free from rock joints. All right, someone's seeing me again. Who the hell is seeing me? Is it... Is it Bellamond? No. You need to hear this. <laughs> it's gotta be someone like. Oh, this is annoying. Come on. Gather round, all. Come on, Brynjolf. What is it this time? As Maybe one of those guards. This, this is a rare opportunity, and I wouldn't want you to Come get on. left out. Dude. That's what you said about the wisp essence. It's gotta it be him. Out to be huh? Move along. Oops. Go. Well, Sorry. Go. Keep walking that way. Sorry. No, go that way. I give you Falma blood elixir. You stupid bastard. Are you talking about the snow elves? 
the one and only. I assume it's him. Mystical beings who live in legends and were masters of my Get going. Imagine the power that coursed through their veins. How did you there. get there? Who's that guy? All right, we're looking at a novice log. So, yeah, piece of cake. Yeah, we're gonna take everything. No one's That's locked for a reason. My source is <laughs> it's meddling old bastard, man. Guaranteed. What's in here? I can promise you that the contents are genuine. I want that stuff. One sip of the elixir, and your wishes will be granted. Great wealth. Everlasting life, or perhaps limitless power could be yours. How much does it cost? You are Only messing up my day. I don't like you. Hurry, before my supply is gone. Why would you even listen to him? Veg all right, let's do this. Now let's just find a stolen ring in all this mess. Boom, done. Well, as a I see my morning. time is up. Come back yes. tomorrow if you wish to buy. Grelka. Something. Time. Damn. Looks I like I chose the right person for the job. And here you go. Your payment. Just as I promised. The way things have been going around here. It's a relief that our plan went off without a hitch. Well, what's been going on, man? Nah. My organization's been having a run of bad luck. But I suppose that's just how it goes. But never mind that. You did the Looking job, and you did it well. Best of all, there's more where that came from. If you think you can handle it. <laughs> yeah, I can handle it. But the money's nice, but I don't know. No way. Yeah, I can handle it. All right, then. Let's put that to the test. The group I represent has its home in the Ratway beneath Rifter, a tavern called the Ragged Flagon. Get there in one piece, and we'll see if you've really got what it takes. Cool. Buy some armor and live oh, to tell about it. Very good. Let's go on the bluff. So much time is at 160. Boom, I got four perk points, guys. Man, my illusion barely budged. Oy. I don't want to resort to... I didn't level up again. No, I just beat it to the punch. Working at the Rift and Fishery is tough. But it put some coin in my so what else can I do to get my illusion up? I know in vanilla, people would just spam muffle to level up their illusion, but I don't like the idea of that. Oh well. Every time I need to cast Fury, I'll just... Beautiful bubbles. The ghosts don't need to follow me here. Alright. Oh, this place is a lot more lit than I'm used to. Alright. And here's another axe. Oh, I forgot to give the backpack to one of the girls. Yeah, normally it's so much darker down here. The lighting, this lighting does make more sense though. I don't know, Droff. They'd skin us alive if they knew we were doing this. Why are you always acting like such a big baby? I've gotten us this far. This far? We're living in a sewer. You said we'd have a house as big as the Blackbriars by now. You worry about bashing people's heads in. I'll worry about the guild, okay? <laughs> okay. I really should put my poisons in here. Okay. I'm going to check the entrance to the Ratway. Be right back. Uh oh. Let's ambush him. Is he coming? Yeah, he's coming. Ooh, backstab. Oh. He didn't see it coming. <laughs> I hear a skiver. Okay, he's kind of facing this way. Let's nail him from the shadows. Ah! All right. 
should have made better friends. So, let's turn this off. Is there anything lurking in the shadows? I don't think so. I don't hear anything. So we can go all the way around, or we could actually um, give me this lock right here. I believe it's a master. Oh, expert. I'm going to go ahead and attempt it. I'm going to make... I'll give it three lock picks. If I break three lock picks, I'll give it up. Alright, so with expert, I just start from the beginning, start from the top. Oh. It just... Work my way through. Okay, I'm getting a little movement here. And boom, just like that. Piece of cake. But that's too easy. I'm going this way. <laughs> Goodbye, rat. Ah, oh, I can finally really work on my sneak now. This is great. I'll take the meat this time. Alright, 12 o'clock it is. that room out just in case something's hiding in the shadows. Alright, cool. Is there anything over there? Huh. Skiver was standing at the door kind of like a dog waiting to be put out outside. Alright, so we got anything in here. More cheese, we got bread. I'll take the garlic. What was that? Ladles. Uh oh. The guy heard me. I think this is technically in the shadows. Hello? Who's there? Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Oh. He's still alive. Oh no. Do your worst. Alright, my my sneak has definitely gotten a lot better. Oh. He just stood there and took it. All right, so now sneak kind of feels like it's back to vanilla level of uh, effectiveness. Gloves of the pugilist. That definitely will get put in the museum for sure. Let's look at it. Huh, this is actually an upgrade to what I'm wearing. Why not? I'll wear it for now. All right, so what were we, what were we doing? Yeah, this random junk. There's a spot for it, so I'm taking it. Let's move on. Whew, all these traps. What was that? Oops. Ah, my muffle ran out. Okay, without muffle, my sneak is garbage. It's got a lot of booze here. Oh, shoot. He's right there. I'm gonna see if I can sneak up on him. What is this? Okay, he's not in here. Alright, so we're almost home. See about sneaking up on this guy. There he is. Oh, his back's to me. That's good. Let's pickpocket him. Screw it. Oh! I actually succeeded. Cool stuff. He's got another Steel War X. I prefer to give Lydia a sword, so I'm not going to bother with that. And we got a book. 
I already have that book. Oh, and a sigh. Yeah, that's gonna go along uh, the tomahawk. Got some salt. Alright. So, that, uh, that door we uh, picked at the beginning comes through here. And here's some doors I do not recognize. So that goes into the bee and the barb. What's this? What? Elgrim's elixirs? Really? We'll go out this way. Screw it. Huh. Interesting. And that goes into the bee and the barb? Wow, everything's connected now. I wonder what... What added that? Oh, JK's bee and the barb. And what about here? JK's, JK's Elgrim's elixir. Alright. That's pretty cool. Alright, so uh, let's go ahead and undo this. And we could actually have the, gr the girls join us now. Alright, let's go. I'm sure they'd like to see the ragged flagon. The ragged flagon! Need something? Who are you? Who's talking to me? Oh. Oh, I need Don't chicken breast. About it. Keep it. Oh. Right. <laughs> How dare you stare at still our salt? Oh, look at that. The lighting was redone down here. This looks great. So this is an amalgamation of JK's Ragged Flagon and Opulent's, Opulent Thieves Guild. For the most part, they work perfectly. Except for one thing. I'm telling you. Floating Nightshade. I can figure out this. We've all heard that one before, Bryn. Quit kidding yourself. It's time to face the truth, old friend. You, Vex, Mercer, you're all part of a dying breed. He's got a silver sword. Things are changing. Dying breed, eh? Well, what do you call that, then? Well, well. Color me impressed, lad. I wasn't certain I'd ever see you again. Getting here was so freaking easy, man. <laughs> Reliable and headstrong? You're turning out to be quite the prize. So, now that I've whetted your appetite with our little scheme at the market, how about handling a few deadbeats for me? Sure. Deadbeats, what they do? They owe our organization some serious coin, and they've decided not to pay. I want you to explain to them the error of their ways. So you want me to crack some skulls, boss? Sounds good. Who are they? Kirava, Percy Honeyhand, and Helga. Do this right. And I can promise you a permanent place in our organization. All right. Well, how did you want me to handle it? Honestly, the debt is secondary here. What's more important is that you get the message across that we aren't to be ignored. A word of warning, though. I don't want any of them killed. Bad for business. All right. Consider it done. No, 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 no. Okay. What's on? What's my end? Of course, you'll get a cut. We take care of our own. Now, if you need any details on your marks, I'll be here. Get going. Okay. So, what's Helga's story? Helga is a devout follower of Debella and dotes over the statue to the divine that she keeps at the bunkhouse. Use it as leverage, and she'll cave. All right. Any help with Bercy? He's as pig-headed a man as you'll ever find. The key is that ugly dwarven urn in his shop. Smash that thing to bits, and he'll change his attitude. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Any tips about Kirava, the lizard? Kirava's stubborn, but she's got a soft spot for family. Who doesn't? Talk to Tal and Jay at the B and Barb and see if you can get something out of him. They're well acquainted, if you catch my meaning. The bump and uglies, I get it. I'll be here when you're done. Alright, so there's no point in talking to anyone here because no one's going to want to talk to you until you're actually part of the guild. But anyways, like I was saying, the only... Weird conflict I have is opulent with the Opulent Thieves Guild and JK's uh, Ragged Flagon is these floating nightshade. And I think it has to do with the if way you're how. For conversation. The flagon isn't the place. Lady, I'm talking here. Is that the Opulent Thieves Guild, the way how it works is uh, as, as you accomplish more and more with yes. the guild, more and more stuff unlocks. And I think this is like prematurely unlocked. So we'll see. You need something? No, I'm good. But since I'm here, I just so happen to know about. Uh, this uh, golden fork <laughs> display for the museum and I think that's it for that what's this note shipments arrived this gives us a little flavor about what's going on here in this guild our shipments arrived and it's an inventory list all right 
You need advice? Talk to Brynjolf. I got better things to do. You guys who play cyberpunk might recognize that voice. I'm not here to hold your hand. Figure this one out for yourself. Right. Anybody who names the character in cyberpunk that has the same voice actress without cheating. Honor system here. I'll give you a shout out. You need advice? Talk to Brynjolf. I got better things to do. Okay, one more time, guys. You need advice? Talk to Brynjolf. I got better things to do. All right. So name that character from Cyberpunk. All right. So uh, let's go. Um, let's go intimidate some folks. Stay out of trouble, or there's gonna be trouble. This is gonna be fun, Sophia. So oh, okay. See, they changed it into uh, their standard equipment down here because I think it's considered a dungeon down here. As soon as we uh, enter or exit back into uh, Riften, they're going to switch back to the street clothes. Oh yeah, I said it was going to go this way, didn't I? So be in the bar. Oh, be in the bar. Just so happens we need to talk to someone here. But I want to lock this door. So I'm going to go this way. Oh, I shouldn't have jiggled it so hard. All right, start from the beginning. Oh, right away. Look at that. At 9 o'clock. Boom. Oh, too easy, man. Too easy. That was an expert luck. Are you kidding me? Got a pretty full stock of potions. Uh, where do I end up? Reagents. Ooh, Lydia is definitely fully naked under there. I gotta be careful. I gotta make sure I remember to replace those meshes. Whoa, where am I? What? Oh, it's a secret passage. And we end up in what looks like a storage room with some wheat that I want. What else is down here? Get some early shopping done. Dude, I got so many pelts, that's crazy. Seems like the only place I can get iron nuts is stealing them. Ooh, 25 frost meat on. I got so much cheese, I'm good. Alright. <laughs> Let's just surprise them by coming out of their basement. Hey, how's it going? Okay, so here's a jar right here. Visba Daedra head in a jar. That's for the museum. Hall of Oddities. Oh, and a book. And there's a display for it. I want it. Okay. I'm not going to go too crazy with the thieving right now. See? They changed. How cool is that? You here for lessons like Ingen? Or did you wish to buy something? Whew. You are one weathered looking dude. Why is your shop down here in the canal? Well, the moisture in the air is better for the ingredients. It isn't every day that you get your hands on fresh nern root or painted troll fat. It also makes it easier to gather water when the canal is right out the front door. Besides, I also prefer the quiet. I didn't open this business for browsing. Come in, buy what you need, and get out. All right, the moisture might be good for fresh herbs. For anything dried, it'll promote molding, man. Do you work alone? Hardly. In fact, I don't know how I get anything done with all the distractions I have to put up with. My wife, half York, well, she's a necessary <laughs> evil, I suppose. Not a lick of talent when it comes to alchemy, <laughs> but she keeps me fed. Then there's Ingen Blackbriar. Bright young thing and a worthy apprentice. When she isn't wasting my rare ingredients. Can't her mom pay for everything? And is that any way to talk about your your de dedicated yes, wife? Yes, goodbye. So this is the first time I'm actually getting a look at uh, JK's... Uh, uh, this place, Elgin's Elixir. It looks good. Do you have any idea how busy I am? My mixture could be burning as we speak. Let me see if there's a reason for me to come back in the night. Okay, so there's this a frost salt. Seen better days, but it's not my fault. Two frost salts. That's good. We need ten. Got a book I want. All right, so we don't need to go crazy with the stealing anymore. So it's just all about getting what we need now. All right. What are you doing that for? I'm not doing nothing. All right. So where are we right now? Who are we closest to? Oh, we're closest to the bunkhouse. Let's go talk to Helga. Yes. Off to work, ladies. 
There she is. If you're looking for a room, try the B and Barb. This place is for the working man. What did you want? Well, what about working women? I have a message from Brynjolf. What does he want now? I already explained to him that you can't get blood from a stone. This isn't about the money anymore. I'm not going to brawl her. Look, I can't make the coin appear out of thin air. Please, be reasonable. I'll... I'll pay next month. We've run out of patience, Helga. And so have I. What's the point of paying anyway? Your outfit can't even fend for itself. I could do better tossing the gold into the sewer. You can't scare me with your tough talk. I'm not paying you people a single coin. You say that without looking me in the eyes, huh? Well, all right, I guess um, I'm gonna have to come up with some other uh, negotiating tactics then. Right, Lydia? Right. Huh, what do we have here? It's a beautiful statue, very nice even. And we could actually display it in a museum too. What do you got to say now? What do you think of this? You like this? Please, don't take the statue. It's the only thing of value I have left. Still got the bunkhouse. So should I drop the statue down a well? And that well, if I if I remember correctly, leads into the Thieves Guild. Not Lady Debella. No, please, I can't lose her. I get the message. Here, take your gold. I hope you choke on it. <laughs> Lady, it's just a statue. Look, I got the message. What else did you want? I just feel like a chat. Are you the only one that works at the bunkhouse? Of course not. You expect me to take care of it by myself? My niece Vanna helps me with the chores. She'd be more help if she kept her head out of the clouds. She's been with me ever since her parents were killed by bandits and she was dropped in my lap. And that's... Oh, what is this place? I know what this place is. Just leave me in peace. And speaking of, uh... Sorry about Vanna. that. Keeping this place clean is quite a chore. I bet. I'd appreciate it if you'd keep your hands to yourself. My hands are in my pocket. Do you work here? Work? I suppose you can call it that. I call it slavery. I work my fingers to the bone keeping this disgusting place clean. Ever since my parents died and Helga took me in, it's been a nightmare. How was I to know she was such a wretched woman? So now I'm stuck living here while those pigs she calls customers grope me and say the most awful things. That's terrible. Too bad there's no quest to help her out with that situation. Well, why do you hate Helga so much? What'd she do? It's not just the work. It's everything about her. She's disgusting. I think she takes her worship of Debella a bit too seriously. Do you know she slept with three different men in the last month alone? What kind of woman would do such a thing? <laughs> just for once, I'd like to see her squirm. To rub her nose in it. So, I take it Skyrim exists in, like, 1960s America's version of morality. Well, there must be a way. Actually, there is. But I don't think I could get away with doing it. She'd kill me if she found out. You see, I happen to know, after she makes love, she gives her partner a token of her affection, called a Mark of Debella. If you confront her with three of the Marks, she'd be so embarrassed. Well, I don't know what she'd do. <laughs> she'd blush. Sure, I'd help you. I like causing mayhem. Oh, this is going to be great! You need to get the marks of Debella from Boli, Hofgrier, and Indarin. Not sure how you're going to do that, but try your best. I got this. Then just confront Helga with them, and the rest works itself out. All right. Try and get those marks without violence, please. I don't want to be responsible for their deaths. Or yours. So as I believe it, we have two choices here, or maybe three. I think you might even be able to brawl them, but you could use a persuasion check or you could pickpocket them. And since we're running around anyway, we'll complete that uh, quest as well. And I'm actually gonna have to track around for them. Cause that can be kind of uh, annoying to find. Okay. Alright, so one guy is going to be by the stables, one guy's in the black bar metery, and I don't know where the third one is. Oh, want to find him, I'll find him. Alright, so i got to talk to Beersy now. Vegetables. My husband Beersy will be the death of me. Oh, he spends too much time worrying about Riften and not enough about himself. Nice sword. So, can I interest you in anything today? Hey, man. Nice, uh, vase you got here. 
Yeah. Let me no, you're going to you break it. To talk? I this think. I think I am. Oh, it's Please. happening. I don't have anything to pay you with. Don't destroy my urn. What? I'm just sharpening my happening. knife. Come on. Stop! That's priceless. I like how lightning is coming just off of this. Just them, Bercy. Be careful. Oh, it didn't break. I wonder if he'll talk to me. So, can I interest you in anything today? <laughs> okay, just a business as usual. I have a message from Bernrolf. Uh, what? Oh, it's one of you people. So Brynjolf doesn't even bother to show up himself anymore, eh? What's this message? Simple, you don't pay, bad things happen. Petty threats and fist-waving are not going to sway me. You people are all talk. And everyone knows it. You demand payment for protection. And you can't even protect yourselves! Who's assaulting us? We can protect ourselves. Don't fool yourself. It's only a matter of time before you people are run out of Riften. I've had enough of this. Likewise. Now I have a lot to do, so I'm afraid you'll just have to leave. Actually, I do have a... a nice pair of uh, gloves that I'd like to try out. So you know what, let's brawl. <clears throat> I'm sorry, you're going to have to leave. Tell Brynjolf he'll just have to make do without my coin. I'm sorry, Aww. you're going to have to leave. Now he won't even talk to me. All right. Where's my axe? Tell Brynjolf he'll just have to make do. do Please, I say? don't have anything to pay you with. Don't destroy my urn. Just pay them, Bercy. <laughs> the wife sounds so bored. No! And unimpressed. That urn was priceless. I should have paid, fool. You want me to break something else? How about your, le how about your legs? All right, I get it. I'll pay on time from now on. Just don't smash anything else. Here, take your gold and leave me in peace. Should have acted sooner, man. That was a nice face. Too bad. I didn't get to work out my illusion very much. Oh well. I hear a dragon on the distance, man. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. Think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. All right, so we'll talk to Talon J. What do you want? You might want to talk some sense into Kirava. With the rumors going around about how poorly your guild's been doing, she's become much too bold. I'm not that foolish. The last thing I want is a war with your people. Smart man, lizard, whatever. Then help me convince her to pay. Look, I'm only telling you this because I care for her. Don't mistake this as acceptance for what you do. <clears throat> Kirava has some family at a farm just inside of Morrowind. If you mention you know about it, she might just listen to you. Just please don't harm anyone. I couldn't bear the thought. All right. If you'll excuse me, I have other things to attend to. You did the right thing. Okay, I was pointing at something. Hey, T-Rex. Here for a room or something to drink? Show me some coin first. I have a message for you from Brynjolf. Look, everything was all just a misunderstanding. I didn't mean to tell Brynjolf to go jump off the pier. You tell him I'm sorry, yes? Take this. Every single coin I owe is there. I swear it. Thank you. So we're to be in the barbs. There should be a direct passage into the ratway, right? Probably in the basement. Let's see if we can find it. So it's going to be a hidden pit. Not, okay, not, it's not going to be in here. It's going to be a hidden passageway, so it's going to be off in the corner somewhere. Probably down here. No, that goes out to the canal. Right here. Look. And that's the Thieves Guild, the Thieves Guild mark. So freaking awesome. JK, you do good work. All right. <laughs> nice little shortcut. All right. They're, they're not changing. Well, they changed into their standard gear. Okay. So, if I remember correctly from that mod I told you about, so-and-so's hard something or other. If I remember to do it while I'm editing, I'll, I'll list uh, the mod here. But, um... The way how the Thieves Guild progresses now is a little bit different. So I don't think he's going to give me immediate access to the Thieves Guild. Trouble. Yes? 
So, job's done and you even brought the gold. Best of all, you did it clean. I like that. Dumping bodies and keeping the guards quiet can be expensive. Well, here's what they owed. Well done. And it would seem I owe you something in return. Here you go. I think you'll find these quite useful. Hmm, potions, huh? Frenzy, fortifications and all that. Alright, what's next then? Judging from how well you've handled those shopkeepers, I'd say you've done more than simply prove yourself. We need people like you in our outfit. Well, if there's more gold where that came from, I'm in. That's the spirit. Larceny's in your blood. The telltale sign of a practice thief. I think you'll do more than just fit in around here. Alright, before I go, I have to ask. What's on your mind? Where does your outfit isn't doing too well? Is that true? We've run into a rough patch lately. But it's nothing to be concerned about. Tell you what. You keep making us coin, and I'll worry about everything else. Fair enough? Alright, fair enough. Now, if there are no more questions, how about following me and I'll show you what we're all about. Oh, okay. So I guess this part still happens. Cool, so I get some new gear. Why do you have your sword out, Lydia? Oh, because I forgot to tick this box. Alright. <laughs> cool. Hey, look! It's Sapphire. And there's the well right there. Mercer, this is the one I was talking about. Our new recruit. This better not be another waste of the guild's resources, Brynjolf. Before we continue, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. If you play by the rules, you walk away rich. You break the rules and you lose your share. No debates, no discussions. You do what we say, when we say. Do I make myself clear? Is that right? Rules for thieves. What's the point of rules? I'll let that comment go because you're new here. Ask things out of turn again and we have a problem. Now, are we clear on all of this? I don't know. I think Lydia might have something to say, but sure. For now... I understand. Good, then I think it's time we put your expertise to the test. Wait a moment. You're not talking about Golden Glow, are you? Even our little Vex couldn't get in. You claim this recruit possesses an aptitude for our line of work. If so, let him prove it. Golden Glow Estate is critically important to one of our largest clients. However, the owner has suddenly decided to take matters into his own hands and shut us out. He needs to be taught a lesson. Brynjolf will provide you with the details. Mercer, aren't you forgetting something? Hmm? Oh, yes. Since Brynjolf assures me you'll be nothing but a benefit to us, then you're in. Welcome to the Thieves' Guild. Welcome to the family, lad. I'm expecting you to make us a lot of coin. So don't disappoint me. So how do I get my cut of the spoils? Simple. Do as you're told and keep your blade clean. We can't turn a profit by killing. You should talk with Delvin, Mallory, and Vex. They know their way around this place, and they'll be able to kick some extra jobs your way. Oh, and talk to Tonelia in the flagon. She'll set you up with your new armor. Very freaking cool. Okay, so are you also going to introduce me to the guild hairdresser? Because everyone's got some amazing hair in this place, and I, I think I could do like with a new do. What do you say? All right, I, I just have... Okay, I haven't earned that privilege yet. All right, tell me about the Golden Glow job. Golden Glow Estate is a bee farm. They raise the wretched little things for honey. It's owned by some smart-mouthed wood elf named Arangoth. 
We need you to teach him a lesson by burning down three of the estate's hives and clearing out the safe in the main house. All right, what's the catch? The catch is that you can't burn the whole place to the ground. That important client Mercer mentioned would be furious if you did. Okay. That makes sense to me, actually. But what's so important about these clients, man? The guild depends on an arrangement of influential people to keep things running smoothly. Without them at our backs, we'd be in serious trouble. So we don't want to piss off people like Maven Blackbriar. Okay, what should I do about Arangoth? Maven prefers that Arangoth remains alive. But if he tries to stop you from getting the job done, kill him. The guild has a lot riding on this. Don't make me look foolish by mucking it up. There was always something weird with this quest with Arangoth. He kind of just always just sits there, and I always end up killing him. Let's see if I can work something out, see if there's any other options. All right, I need more details about Golden Glow. Golden Glow Estate brought in a mountain of gold for the guild. You could almost call it our sweetest deal. All right. Then out of the clear blue, Arangoth stopped sending us our cut. Mercer was, well, angry to put it kindly. Hmm. So we send in Vex and find out he's hired a bunch of mercenaries to guard the place. Mercenaries, not the Riften Guards. Aye. Arangoth sent the city guard packing and fortified the entire island. In fact, Vex barely made it out of there alive. You should talk to her about it before you go. I don't think I will. And I got a couple of torches that'll handle the beehives. You watch yourself on that island. Those mercenaries don't take prisoners. Alright, as far as like chatting with everybody else in the guild, I'm gonna just take little sips here and there. I'm not gonna go in like huge uh, chat fest or anything. And these boots belong in the museum. Cool. Oh. Oh. Ebony crossbow. But you need the ebony perk to be able to do this. I'm gonna leave this crafting manual here for now until I have the ebony perk. And then I can build this crossbow for Lydia. I stick to uh, bows and arrows for myself. And like all these little things here. Uh, little notes and stuff. I'll read it here and there. Otherwise, this could be just long, long sessions of reading notes and talking to, to people. All right, but I want these books. Oh, and this Thieves Guild necklace. And as these, as for these extra pieces of armor, I'm just gonna leave them here for now. But let's take these books. Okay. Is Vex? No, Vex. we know where Vex is. Having a drink. Yeah, I'll explore the rest of the Thieves Guild in the next episode. Let's go talk to Vex for now. And go get our gear. Come here a second. Who's talking to me? I don't like talking to Dur Doorway. I'll talk to you later, Nurian. And I like your in bow. Some marksman training. Oh, but I like your bow, man. That may be the only Daedric bow in the game, unless you make your own. So we've got a couple of notes here. I'm not going to read them now. Here's Delvin. He gives us jobs, but he can't give us jobs just yet. We've got to complete the Golden Glow Estate. All right, here's Vex. How Before you doing? Before we begin, I want to make two things perfectly clear. One, I'm the best infiltrator this rat hole of a guild's got. So if you think you're here to replace me, you're dead wrong. And two, you follow my lead and do exactly as I say. No questions, no excuses. I can't help but have one question. If you're the best, yes. then why are they sending me in? Before we begin, I want to make two things perfectly clear. Alright, you already one, said this. I'm the best in and two, you follow my lead and do exactly as I say. No questions, no excuses. Yo, back off. I'm the new guy. I know the drill. Now you I like. You've been getting sick of the pushovers that usually walk in here. I think you and I are gonna get along just fine. Now, it's time to get your feet wet, and I don't want to waste a lot of time talking about anything but business. Alright, well, what sort of business? I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. We're in a bad way down here. Any idea why? Who knows? Old Delvin thinks it's some kind of curse. I think he's crazy. If you want my opinion, I'd say it's just plain old bad luck. So what can we do? You can get out there and start making a name for us again. Make them start fearing us like they did long ago. And while you're at it, make a little bit of coin on the side. Not a bad deal, eh? Not bad, not bad. Alright, so this is the person we talked to about the gem. Is this unusual gem worth anything? Been a while since I've seen one of those. 
What you've got there is a stone of Baron Zaya. Is it worth anything? Not like that it isn't. The stone was pried off of Baron Zaya's ceremonial crown by a thief in order to cover his tracks. How many of these are there? I think there were 24 in all. Most people keep them as a curiosity. Some of the guild members have tried to locate them over the years, but they haven't been successful. Well, until now. You guys suck at a lot of things. You sure you won't buy it? Look, I only buy things I can turn around quickly for a profit. And no one wants these stones unless they have the whole set. Tell you what, if you find the rest of them, talk to me again. Otherwise, keep it. Maybe it'll bring you luck. You think they'd sell? They look pretty cool. I mean, they're like floating stones. And she'll teach us luck picking if we want. I'm not worried about doing extra jobs or why. We know why, guys. All right, I heard you ran into some trouble at Golden Glow. <laughs> yeah, I did. That wood elf's wit. He's a lot smarter than I expected. A swit. Can you believe that Fetcher had more than tripled the guard? Fetcher? There must have been eight of them in there. It was like he was daring us to come and get him. She's using uh, slang from Morrowind. Swit and, and Fetcher are like derogatory terms that Dark Elves use. Any tips to get me in there? Well, there's an old sewer tunnel that dumps into the lake on the northwest side of the island. That's how I slipped in there. Should still be unguarded. All right, I'll check it out. And I'm not going to ask about extra work and all that. Just These jobs get... aren't going to finish themselves, you know. I know. I'm on it. Stop hassling me. All right, where's Tanelia? Amulet trader. What? Need something? Yeah. Huh? What are you? Take a look. She is indeed an amulet trader. Gold ring? Marked with an L? Does that mean I can wear it on my left hand? She has, like, a lot of amulets. Interesting. See ya. Now I'm curious. Oh, she's an NPC actually from Amulets of Sky Skyrim. Alright, that explains a lot. And... I think you complete a quest just by talking to her. Ah, I suppose I can work with your face. After all, the sculptor cannot always choose the finest clay. What are you talking about, you damn dirty high elf? I assumed you were here to see me about your face. What? To have it sculpted into something more artful than nature has bestowed upon you. <laughs> so, are you here as a client? Shall I remake your face? Uh, no. Ten grand, damn. No, I'm good. Indeed. It is no small thing to submit yourself to the flesh sculptor's knife. All right, then. I mean, would you really mess with this perfection? Come on, now. <laughs> Sophia looks bored. All right, there's Danelia. And they got a vampire Not in a residence. Minute. Wanted to say something. Uh, we'll talk later, Rune. Danelia, you're looking good. So you're the new recruit, huh? Well, looks like you and I are going to have to get very well acquainted. Well, looks like you and I are going to have to get very well acquainted. All right, why is that? I'm the fence down here. You come by anything you don't exactly own, and I'll pay you some coin for it. Minus a little slice for the guild, of course. I can also provide a few supplies useful to our trade now and again. For a small fee. I'll probably buy some more lockpicks if she has any. Well, is there anything you don't charge for? Sure. How about I get Dirge to knock you over your head and dump you into the cistern? Look, I've been in this business a long time, and I've seen all types. You can play it tough, or you can play it smart. Whatever. At the end of the day, you'll find that all we care about down here is how much gold you can make us. Understood. Good. Then there isn't much more to say. Here's your armor. Just make sure you put it to good use. Oh, yeah. Hey, thanks. All right, what do you give me for these? I've got coin, and I've got merchandise. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> uh, before I look at her stuff, let me see if I want to sell her anything. I don't remember if I do. I'm gonna send it off. All right, cool. I give special rates to members of the thieves guild. All right, she's got 32 Show me what picks. You've got. Good. I've got close to five grand. I could afford 32 gold. Okay, lock picks are good. Until next time. Cool. Let's put all my stuff. That's light armor. Bows do 10% more damage. Movement speed increased by 10. Versus pickpocket higher chance. Yeah, but I was just sitting there. I'm going to send off to the museum. I don't care. Thieves Guild carry capacity. Good. 
The boots, pickpocketing, okay. Lock picking, yeah, okay. Prices, whatever. Yeah, the stats for this is not that great. I could have swore one of these actually gave you better sneaking, but I guess not. Is it actually replacing something that is actually worth more worthwhile? Fire resistance? Not really. And this I reward because it's like a curiosity, but... And I don't think I'm going to actually disenchant it, even though I could. I think I'll just put it on like a mannequin or something. And then I'm going to send off. Look at me! Yes. So much better. And before I forget, let's go ahead and give uh, Lydia a backpack. What's on your mind? I like how she's sitting, sitting there like that. Uh, I need to trade some things with you. Here's everything I have. I appreciate that, Lydia. Uh, where's the backpack? I did buy that backpack, right? Oh, yeah, it's just stacked. And this is stacked, too. I might as well give that to her. Let's give her the backpack. I want to give her one of the woodcutter's axes. Give her one of the tents. And what else I got? Pretty sure I have some more stuff here. Oh, a torch. Torch. And eventually I want to get her a cooking pot because a cooking pot will just uh, show up on the backpack too. And that's it. I will protect you with my life. Woo! Looking good. I love it. <laughs> Need something? And she's wearing the pouch. Hey, look, 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 look. Good to see you. Look. How cool is that? <laughs> cool, cool. Alright, guys. I think that's a good place to stop. And uh, what I'm going to do, like I did last time, I'm going to go through my ingredients, go through one by one, looking for ones that don't have any stats like this, eat it, and uh, I'm going to go through and uh, see what I can unlock. So you guys have a good one, guys. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.